All right, what's up, everybody? This is Luke with Tailgating Challenge. We are here in the kitchen today to show you the new, latest, and greatest kitchen gadget that you may need for your kitchen. Check this out. This is the Juice Catching Cutting Board, and you can tell it is a fine block of maple wood, but it's different, right? Look at these holes. These holes are what makes this board different. It helps all of the juices for whatever you're chopping up whether it's watermelons, whether it's other types of fruit, or meats, and so it'll catch the juices. So A, it doesn't go onto your counter, and B, there could be those times like with fruits, you wanna save those juices, make a smoothie or something later, or with the meats, you can catch all the juices to make some type of gravy or something else with that. So now we need to see, does this cutting board work? Let's test this thing out. All right, the best way to actually see this in motion I have a glass of water here. We're gonna slowly pour it around the cutting board to see if it catches down here. There, here's the tray. This is what's gonna catch all the juice from whatever you're chopping up. Let's pour some water on here and then see how it does. All right, if you can get in here, you can almost see some of it draining into these holes. If you get real close, some of it went off of the board. That's just with the splatter. Normally when you're chopping things up, you're not splattering like that. But for illustrative purposes, let's pull this out and see. There's some water in there now. All right, so you can see a portion of the water still on the board, but then a portion went in there too. So I'd say maybe about 50-50. All right, guys, now we're gonna go underneath this thing to see from a different angle on how it works. Check it out. All right, now we'll chop our watermelon up. Whoops. All right, guys, we got the watermelon all chopped up. So now what I need to see is how much juice did this actually collect? Let's take a look in here. All right, take a see it's a little bit of juice for one regular size watermelon. Uh, there's still some you can see on the board. All of it doesn't go, go down there. And you can never let watermelon juice go to waste, right? All right guys, so once you get done, you're probably wondering how in the heck do you get those tiny little holes here cleaned up? They send two of these brushes right here to help you clean this board up. And so you're gonna use hot soapy water. This will not go in the dishwasher. Let's check out how you clean this board up. All right guys, so this was the juice catching cutting board. It is a fine block of wood. Like this is high quality maple wood. Um, for the actual design, it works. But one of the things that I would like to see is almost a little more concave structure to this. So the juices pull a little bit more into the center and have more catching abilities for it. 
overall, it's still an awesome thing I'm gonna keep in my kitchen to chop things up on because it's gonna make for less mess on the counters. It's a good piece of wood, it's a good quality cutting block. Again, concave structure may make it a little bit better. I am Luke with Tailgating Challenge. We've tested out hundreds of products, so make sure you check us out on our website to see all of those fun new product ideas that could help you. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for weekly giveaways and to see all the other cool stuff that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. As always, our motto is don't hate, just tailgate. Until next time, happy cooking in the kitchen.